How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to generate color palettes using JavaScript. So if for example you have a color and you want to find the complementary color for the given color, this, uh, you know, this video here is going to show you how to do that. Now we're going to be using a library to achieve this and this library is going to be really easy to use. Trust me, you definitely want to give it a go. Now not only do you have the option of complementary colors, you've also got things like a triad color palette as well as an analogic and a couple of more. So you can generate heaps of colors using this library and you can use it for things like your user profile photos to generate a, for example, a complementary color against the background. And the same goes for things like cover images and profile pages, things of that nature. This here is going to be really handy. Now, the library being used is called Color Scheme. I'm going to be linking it down below in the description. And the first step for getting into this is, of course, going to be the installation. So it's available on NPM. You can just say NPM install Color Scheme or uh, you can also just simply download the minified version of the library, copy all of this minified code here, and then paste it inside your public directory for your web server or whatever it might be. Now, I've actually gone ahead and copied this right here. Then within VS Code inside my directory structure, I've got a folder called lib or library. Then I've got a folder called color scheme and within here I've got the color scheme.min.js with that pasted JavaScript code. So once you've got this within your, uh, your app directory, you can then simply use a script tag to of course include that JavaScript and now you're going to be good to go. So let me show you my example real quick once again. So this right here is what can be produced from the library. And I'm actually uh, using some custom code just to generate this color palette here visually. But with this library, you only get an array of hex codes back, which is what you need anyway, because of course, it's going to be up to you as to how you go, uh, you know, go ahead and use the colors that are generated. So let's go inside VS Code right here and begin to see how we can use this library. So let's begin from scratch. And the first step is going to be to create a new scheme object. So we can say here const scheme equal to a new instance of color scheme. Now this scheme object is going to be used to generate, of course, your colors. Now, once you have the scheme, you can provide a color uh, as your, I guess, starting color. Because I think in most situations, you're going to have a color, for example, red, then you want to generate a bunch of different colors from that. So you say here, scheme dot from underscore hex, and then you pass in your hex code. I'm going to say here, FF0000. Now, you technically don't need to generate this, sorry, to provide a starting color, but most examples and most use cases are going to include that, right? So now you have the starting color. I'm using red. And the next step is going to be to specify what scheme or what type of colors you want to generate. So for example, complementary colors, monochromatic, triad, anogalous, etc. So going inside the documentation, we can see under the schemes section, we have, like I said, monochromatic contrast and so on. So I find that contrast is going to be one of the most used ones as it gives you the complementary colors, but also the analogic as well, um, you know, generates nice colors too. And of course, these colors refer to ones that are near each other on the color wheel. So I'm no expert in color theory, but most of this stuff is pretty straightforward to sort of understand here. I'm going to choose the contrast scheme. Let's go back inside VS Code and provide uh, dot scheme here, then say contrast. So now we have the hex to start with and the scheme. We can now go ahead and say const colors is equal to scheme dot colors. So the colors method is going to generate the color palette. So now if I console.log the colors, we're going to see an array of colors in the console. 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, I've also got this custom function here, which is just going to generate HTML so you can visually see what's being generated. So, of course, I'm also calling that one and passing in now the colors array. I'll save this, go back in the browser here, and we get something like this. We begin with the red, and we get a few more reds in there because it's a color palette, right? And we also get the uh, complementary colors for the reds, okay? So this right here is beautiful, really easy to use. Now, we can see here in the console, we get all of the hex codes for the generated colors, and you can, of course, do whatever you like with those colors. I'm now gonna go back inside here and just change the hex to my decode green color. So FF09578, I believe. I think that's right. That can't be right. Let me just double check my color real quick. What is it? FF09578, right? No. Okay. What's my color? Okay, my color is 009578. There we go, perfect. So, I've made it my decode green color. I'm now saying scheme contrast once again, I'll go back in the browser and we get this right here, okay? Now, let's experiment with a different color scheme. Real quick, I'm gonna use the Anogalus, okay? Something like this, I believe. How do you spell it? Let me double check that real quick. Uh, sorry, Analogic, okay? Perfect. So we'll say that right there. And now, go back in the browser and we get a different set of colors. Now, instead of contrast, it's of course the colors near that green on the color wheel, okay? Now, you've also got the option of passing in a variation. So, by default, you have the default or standard variation, but you can also choose to have pastel colors or soft or light or hard colors, even pale. So let's change this to be, uh, let's do hard, okay? So go back inside here, I'll make this dot variation just like this, then say hard. I'll save this and go back in the browser and we get a slightly different set of colors here, okay? Now, of course, these colors are more contrasty, they're stronger as opposed to the standard ones. Uh, let's also try the pastel. I think this was my original example I showed you earlier. Go back in the browser. And we get this right here. So, like I said earlier, firstly you choose your scheme, then you choose a variation, then you call dot colors and you get your color palette. So, I recommend checking out this library, guys. It's really awesome. And uh, that's it for this video. So, I, th I thank you for watching. Um, if you learned something, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.